hey loves welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me today so in today's video i will be sharing with you guys working in the hospital as a tech as a psa pca sdna however you guys call it in your um state so i will be taking you guys to work with me this is not the first video i've dropped as um working as a tech or a psa or a pca and this is actually the second video and i am glad to be sharing with you guys um, today I just picked up a shift. It's not my actual shift, so my husband had to go drop me because I'm tired. By tomorrow morning when I'm coming up, I would not be able to drive because you guys know at first I was floating through the hospitals. I was going to all four hospitals here in Central Ohio, but then I decided to stay at one hospital, but it's 27 miles from my house. Whenever I'm coming back in the morning, it's hard. So um, yeah. Anyway, without wasting much time, let's get into the video. But before, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're an old, 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 you've been here forever, you've not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get into the video. Whenever I get to work, I try as much as possible to clear and clean my workstation. I wipe it down. Sometimes I even wipe it down with bleach because, you know, um, people have been there for 12 hours already. So somebody just called Sosia. So right now, after cleaning my workstation, I get my vitals card. I try to clean my vitals card also, and then I get my patient vitals. So I have like 10 patients today, so let's go get vitals, guys. <laughs> So whenever you get to a patient's room after getting their vitals you get their tray if they're done eating dinner and then you put the tray away and also whenever i go to their rooms i try as much as possible to take the trash and the linens out because sometimes it gets so busy in during the day so they don't get time to take out the trash and the linens so i try to take it out and before my day starts and yeah so right now i am at the stocking room i just got a new patient so if you get a new patient you go in you weigh them you get their vitals and then you get them some stuff um so right now my patient is a male so i am going to get him a urinal then i'll get him some water jar and some other stuff okay i'm gonna show you guys so i just got a new patient as i said and so these are the stuff i got for my patients since they just got here i got them some socks some tissue so my patient has dentures so i got them some denture bowl and then um the denture cleaner i got them some toothbrush and toothpaste some lotion and some cream and so i told you guys about the telly box right so these are the telly batteries um there are three of them and so i got my patient a basin a urinal and then i got my patient a water pitcher right here for their water so let's get it to the patient yeah So this is the telly box I was talking about. The batteries go in here. We put it on the patient so we can monitor their heart outside and on the monitors. So when I'm done, then I have to check my patients who have dinner time blood sugars and then I have to get their blood sugars. Blood sugars, I normally get it around 8.30, 9 o'clock. That's when I get my blood sugars. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
so after I get all my blood sugars and then I sit down to chart you have to chart every two hours from the time you, you clock in so from 7 to 7 in the morning I have to chart but we chart every um, odd hours and the nurses chart every even hours so basically you were going to your patient room every hour to check on them so you check on them every two hours the nurses check on them every two hours but then it's gonna be every hour that a patient is being checked on and you have to write um, I say right you have to um, put it in the computer you have to put in the output everything that you did it in the room you have to put it down yep Your call light somehow, may I help you? All right, I'll be there. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you I picked up this shift and I have been floated. And so I'm going to my home floor, floor to see my friends. So yeah, I'm gonna introduce you to my sweet youtuber her name is abby you guys can subscribe to her channel so yeah let's go so this is abby i'm gonna leave a link down below about her channel and i'm going to leave it here too so you guys go subscribe to her channel you're gonna love her from the vlog so she is my nurse mm -hmm. age, and my role model age, <laughs> age, age. <laughs> This is the fully catheter wipe. So always I, I try as much as possible to warm this before I use it on my patients. So this is the warmer for the fully catheter wipes and the CHG wipes. I remember in my last video I told you about the CHG wipes that you have to use on your patient before surgery. So it will tell you if it's ready or not. So I put it in here and I use it on my patient in the morning. So it's one o'clock. So at one o'clock you have to do those on your AccuCheck machines. So I try as much as possible to do it exactly at one o'clock because you never know what will happen they can be a cold they can be an emergency or anything so i try as much as possible to do it because if it's um out of controls then it won't work when you're trying to use it so i try to do it at exactly at one o'clock so this is me doing my controls right here and so when i'm done with my controls um i try as much as possible to do my homework if i have time if not then i um do whatever that i need to do sometimes i fill out the blanket warmer when it's low this is obviously low so i'm gonna go ahead and fill it up and then when i'm done with that i can do my homework check on my patients chart and do whatever that i need to do and yep so you guys i got dealt with my q4 vitals about an hour ago so this is how it works so if you come in you get your report you find out if your patients are q4 vitals or qa vitals mind you it can change during your 12 hour shift but um if they're qa vitals you get your vitals when you come in at seven and then you get them on 11 and you don't get them again till um 7 a.m when the next shifts get them right if your patient is q4 vitals you get them at 7 11 and 3. so i just got done with my q um four vitals about an hour ago and right now it's about 5 15 a.m um, i'm going to do my drains and then clean my patients who have full lace, they are full lay. And then if they are going out for surgery, I give them CHG wipes. If they can do it themselves, they will. If they can, then I do it for them. And then um, I take out my trash and that will be it for the day. I probably will go get some breakfast downstairs. I'm not sure yet because I have cold calls in the morning, so I want to eat first. <laughs> but i'm not sure yet so yeah that's about it um i hope i get more to show you guys yeah get the same thing i always get two sausage patties two sausage lincoln um scrambled eggs so yeah <laughs> hey loves thank you guys so much for watching till the end i don't even know where i stopped in the video but i believe i stopped at, at a very very good place so at the end we just give report and then that's it i just got home so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video share comment and yeah See you in another video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>